Look, it's me and the Jolly Bee. He's so happy. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl. Hello, and happy March 12th. Today, for us, is Tuesday. Um, we've kind of been, like, Mark has been in this conference, and I went running around outside of the city yesterday. We really haven't had any opportunity to go and do anything together. So we're gonna take a little walk down to a place called Devil Dogs, we think that's what it's called, mm -hmm. and um, have lunch. So I wasn't even gonna vlog today because I was just gonna sit and edit videos all day, but since we're gonna explore a little bit, I thought that you'd go with us. Mark was saying that there's a reason why Chicago has a lot, all of these like twirly doors. What was that reason, Mark? Because it's so cold? Because of the weather. Yeah. Just to keep the heat in. If you open that one door and all the heat is uh, right. goes out, goes in, cold comes out. So it's so nice out today, too. It's going to be in the 70s today, so it's a great spring day not to be sitting inside a building, so we're gonna get outside of the building a little bit and see what we can get ourselves into. This old building is like this Merle Reskin Theater, part of DePaul University, which is just really pretty. If you look at, just like stop and look. I know sometimes we're just like so busy, just kind of walk to get to where we wanna walk to, but if you just look at some of the architecture that's on these buildings and stuff, it's really, 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 really beautiful. Probably all oh yeah, for Bedford. <laughs> um, my plan tomorrow is Mark and I are gonna do a little exploring in the morning, but I'm gonna go to the Chicago History Museum. I've not been there. Um, so, you know, you just learn a little bit more about the history of the city and stuff. So I'm gonna be doing that and I might, there's one other thing that I might go to tomorrow, but we'll see. Don't quite know for sure yet, but we never do. We're always just kind of figuring things out as we go. Burgers, fries, and shakes. Let's go. Okay, so Mark got us the classic Chicago dog. We got a bucket of fries. I got a chili, a chili cheese dog. So take a bite of it, Mark, and let us know. I can't right now. <laughs> right now. Alright, but it looks really, really good. I'll let you know the music's pretty loud. I'll let you know how it is after we're done. So we venture down to Grant Park. It's such a beautiful day, my gosh. I'm just ready for this kind of weather. There is the hotel that we're staying at. That is the Hilton right there. We got a statue over there. Beautiful spring day in Chicago. So Mark, what'd you think of your devil dog? It was very good. Yeah, I thought it was good too. The music was really loud in there so I couldn't really film a taste. But um, it was just your classic Chicago dog. Oh look, there's the, well, I is it the Sears Tower? They've changed the name so many different times. Willis, Willis. So, yeah, I think tomorrow I might try to do one of the bus tours too, just to get a little bit of a history. I've done that before, but I like to do those sorts of things. Just a little bit of the city's sordid history. There is a lot of history in this here town, and I'm all for it. I was just looking. This walkway bridge right here is closed, but all like the patina and stuff that's on the layup posts. 
I just think that that is so cool. Oh, airplane, airplane. But we can't walk across the bridge. Uh, well, we can go across that one though. It's just this one that's closed and probably go across that one. So let's make our way down here. The bridge is closed. That one at least is. Now I know that these doors are not that, I mean, someone has tagged them and everything, but man, I just look at like stuff like this, like this old Art Deco architecture that's on the door. We've got the statues, which I don't know the names of. <laughs> when I go on my little tour, hopefully I will figure that out. Now this isn't limestone. This is just stone. Where we live is the land of limestone, and so some of these structures that are th that the buildings are made out of probably are made from limestone that was quarried down in Indiana. the fountain straight ahead right there I don't know when they turn it on May. May Mark said May we got the train lines down there and more of the Chicago skyline are you guys bored yet you're probably very bored but like I said sometimes when I'm vlogging you're just seeing what I'm seeing as I'm seeing it. Helicopter. No. Oh, something I would never do is a helicopter. Nope. Oh, it's right there. Do you see it? Right in the center of that diamond shaped building. No ma'am. No sir. I mean, less I was lifelined. I would, I would want to be in a helicopter if I needed to be lifelined, Mark. Police. It's the police. Come out, we have you surrounded. That's what happens in California. I got experience that for the first time when I was with Jay and Jamie Mid-Century Wasted when we were in California. And they were, the police helicopters were calling people out because they were surrounded. That was exciting. And Jay and Jamie, who are live in California, were like, that's nothing. I'm like, this is exciting. I mean, it's not exciting in a good way. But for my little boring life, it was pretty exciting. Okay. So we're going to walk over to the fountain. That's not turned on. But we're still going to go walk and see it. Look at those metal flowers. Those are kind of neat. There's just so much culture and art in this city. And I want to know more about it all. Like those big metal flowers. What? What? The, the real flowers. Oh. Oh yeah! Oh, spring! Spring! So here we're at the sign for Grant Park. The architect was Bennett Parsons and Frost. Engineer was Jacques Lambert and the sculptor was Marcel Francois Leao. Probably saying that wrong. When was it? Okay, it was dedicated in 1927 as the world's largest decorative fountain. The design is based on the Latona Fountain at Versailles, France. And it's not turned on, like I said, they will turn it on in May. You know, because it does get cold here in Chicago. But um, Mark was saying that it does, like, it changes colors. And it's just kind of a cool fountain. I mean, look at the, like, the mall around it. Like, there's all kinds of places to stand to see the fountain. For activities. For activities. I don't know. But 19, what did I say, 1927? That's the thing though, you think about it, the, the city is not that old. I mean, you think about it in the big picture, the big scheme of history, you know, and you think of, well, a lot of it burned down. right, you think of Chicago, the city that we know it today, 
it's not that old, really. I mean, it's a hundred years old, but I mean, you know what I mean. It's not like other big metropolitan cities around the world. But that holds a lot of water, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You know they had to put this fence around it because ding-dongs, I'm sure, at some point would try to get it, and they probably still do, try to get in the fountain. Okay. But it's beautiful. Here, let's walk all the way around it. You can see they've got like all these different ornamentations, and that sign did say what well, each of them a seahorse. Yeah. But you know, I just didn't I didn't think it was this big. No. It's huge. I don't even think the camera's really doing it justice. I mean obviously it's not very deep, but it's deeper than what you think. Maybe waist deep. And yeah. Oh, yeah you can see all this is marble it's around at least here. Deep. Oh man, I want to see it with Wada in it. Turn it on, Mr. Chicago. I need to fill it. Yeah, I know. I wonder how long it takes to fill it. It looks like those things that are popping up are probably lights, I'm assuming, but you can see there's like no, jets. They're, they're jets. Those things popping up are? Those right here. Oh, okay. I would, I would think so. And then like in this little hole right there, there's more jets it looks like. Or maybe that's return water. I don't know. This is kind of boring for you probably. Like, What can you find out about the fountain, Misty? I don't know. It's just fascinating to me. I think the seahorses work how they're not too. Oh, cool. Well, you think of love and marriage. That love. Seahorse yeah, you can see it. Mouth. Goes together like a seahorse and cattails. Mm -hmm. Are those little like things where people like like those like those little things that you can stand on? I wonder what those are for. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, probably for maintenance. Maybe. Huh, okay, well, we're gonna walk around to the other side. And listen, those of you that are familiar with the, the fountain, you let me know in the comments. Yes, Misty, this is it. Duh, Misty, yeah. I wanna know, I wanna learn. So if you've got any, um, you know, insights. insights or insight into the fountain, let me know. I like to learn. Just trying to get like a close up of that seahorse. That's pretty epic. I love the patina that's on it too. I wonder if they were like brass or something. It's copper. Well, I would, I would yeah, but I wonder what it looked like on opening day. Like a panty. Like a panty. That's so cool. Oh, I gotta zoom you out again. There we go. It's so cool with that background too. All right, so we got a little closer to good old Lake Michigan. Down there is a Navy Pier probably walk out there later on tonight we're gonna have uh, either Gino's or Giordano's pizza and let me know in the comments which do you recommend Gino's or Giordano's by the time that you see this we would have already gone but I'm just curious because I know that's a big debate some people prefer Giordano's over Gino's yeah but look Canadians came to visit us hi Canadians <laughs> Look at the water looks so clear. It's like an aqua blue. Hi, buddies. Mark has an hour before he has to get back to his thing. Mark, you can't dive. Don't dive. It says no. Oh, well, maybe. But. What a beautiful day. Hi, I'm looking a little wind, I pass said wind blown. I guess that might be the right word. I just got done editing a video. Mark went uh, back down to his conference, so I'm just sitting here it is 4.17, so he should be up back up here soon. And then I think we're going to go get some pizza. And again, this is just a very non-reselling video. I did have some sales on eBay. Um, some makeup items you can see here and there. And then Mark sold an action figure you can see there. But I sold 
a this right here, which is a McCoy stretch goat planter. If you find the celadon green or the yellow, they command an even higher price. But I did not have any clue that it that this planter was so desirable. Um, it is a matte um, pottery, which is gorgeous. I love it. But it was only made for a specific amount of time, and there weren't very many of them made. And um, it sold within a couple hours of me listing it. So I actually was going to take it and put it um, on one of my live sales as I was preparing. And I usually will like do a little bit of research before I like decide what my starting price is going to be and so on and so, so forth. I mean, it does matter what I paid for the item and, and all of those things as well. But I thought, well, I'm going to try putting it on eBay. My shop is on vacation mode, so I won't even be able to ship it until Monday. But it sold very, very fast. So be on the lookout for that little, those little critters. They had a couple different animals um, as well. So that was exciting. But anyway, um, I thought maybe we would do our affirmation alert. I did, it's The day is almost over, but I've had a pretty good day. I've had a pretty good day so far. So I didn't really need any alignment, I guess you could say. Today is the 12th of March. Um, and it says on March 12th, today is all there is. Today is all there is. Live boldly. Forgive often. Love openly. Give thanks for every beautiful experience, but also show gratitude for the ones that were difficult, yet shined a light to show you the way forward. Oh, that's a good one. Honor your own story, whatever it may be, with love, courage, and dignity. Do not strive for perfection because as you are, you exemplify the beauty of humanity in all that is in perfection and magnificence. Today is all you have. So, with full recognition of that immense empowering truth, be present in this moment and honor it. So, live in the moment. Live in the moment. If you need to forgive other people, if you even if you need to forgive people in your own mind, um, if you aren't ready to make that phone call or send that email or send that text message or X, Y, and Z, at least you can in your mind accept and move on and forgive the person or persons or X, Y, and Z. So you need to at least do that for your own mental well-being. All right, our happier me cards. We're getting down to the nitty gritty on these. And then I got the snarky ones, the like sassier ones. So, all right, let's see if our card is going to be in cahoots with what we just read. I accept and love myself unconditionally. Look at all the things that's going on inside that person. You can still love yourself unconditionally no matter what. Inside each of us is a hurt child that needs to be loved. Stop criticizing yourself and heal the wound by loving the child, by loving yourself. Someone had told me once that um, one thing that you can do if when you are kind of hating on yourself and you're self-loathing and all those sorts of things is to find a picture of you as a child and those things that you're telling yourself in your brain, in your mind, look at that child. I mean, yeah, it's you, but it was still a child. And say those things to that child. You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. Honestly, you wouldn't look at a random person that you don't even know, that you have no connection with at all. You wouldn't look at any normal, any, any person, person out of a magazine, and tell them some of the vile things that you tell yourself. So it's just something to think about. Okay. I like that one today. That was good. All right. Affirmations over. I hope the little graphics are helping. If you don't like the affirmations, feel free to, to fast forward through them. I don't expect you to watch them if you're like, yeah, I don't, don't want to watch those. You can fast forward. That's why I put the little graphic in there for you. I like them. It helps me overwhelmingly. I've gotten comments from people saying that they do enjoy them. So I hope that it does in some way, shape, or form at least help somebody at some point. I don't know. Okay. 
Waiting on Mark to get back. I thought I might go ahead and start editing another video. Um, I'm gonna give me some more water um, and I, got, I need to decide what I wanna do tomorrow. I wanna, I think, I want to do some exploring in the city. So I, there are a couple of museums and tours that I think I'd like to go to. Um, I hate, it's a bummer that I'm going to them by myself and without Mark. I just kind of want to get out and explore. It's supposed to be really nice again tomorrow. And then I think Thursday, it's supposed to be stormy. <clears throat> so I got to figure that out. But tonight we're going to go have Chicago style pizza. And we're going to go get Garrett's popcorn. If you don't know anything about Garrett's popcorn, you can order it online. You can. It's a different experience going it and going to Garrett's Popcorn and buying it. And people will line up in the mornings when they freshly made it. It's so good, but you can order it online. I've done that before and I've had a hankering for it, but we're gonna, we're gonna go to Garrett's Popcorn tonight too. So a couple of those things to look forward to, but come along with us and let's do some exploring in Chicago. Mark and I are walking to, where are we decided to go, Giordano's? Yeah. But we're gonna go to the Bean first. It's a beautiful night. I have on a winter coat because I'm always cold. Like after four o'clock, I don't know what's wrong with me, but after four o'clock every day, it doesn't matter what time of year it is, I freeze. I, I am a frozen icicle at all times. So, it's like 70 degrees, but I have my coat on because I'm cold. Mark's carrying his because we're not sure. You know, Chicago style pizza usually takes about an hour for it to cook. So we're gonna go over and see the bean, go to Giordano's, and just enjoy this beautiful night here in Chicago. There's a freaking Jolly Bee. You get you can get spaghetti at the Jolly Bee. Yeah. Look, it's me and the Jolly Bee. He's so happy. Okay, we are at Millennial Park and there's the faces. All I know is that I surely would not want my big old face up there on that screen. You know, like, I don't know. I just, I just, that's, that's just me. <laughs> Hi lady. But pretty neat. Let's see what face is on the other side. Oh, there she goes. She's gone away. What's gonna replace her? Oh, this gentleman. And on this side, it's that guy. A lot of people just sitting out, hanging out. Sick of, so happy to be out of their winter slumber. Hi, mister. And enjoying the evening. Oh, there's a Starbucks and a Raisin Gap. There's literally thing that you can possibly imagine. Shake Shack. What? Shake Shack. Oh, I like the Shake Shack. I'm just hungry. Everything is sounding pretty good, but I would like to get a pie from Jollibee. I've, that's like a bucket list thing for me, Mark. We don't have a Jolly Bee in Indiana. It's like little things like that. You know? It's those little things. Okay, we're gonna go up and see the bean. And it's so cool because, huh? Ice skating. But they have ice? ice skating. Oh, it's not real ice. Oh, maybe, maybe it was. Probably not. Can you see? They've got it wrapped. It almost looks like big pieces of duct tape, but I don't know that's not what it is, but. They're, I'm sure they're doing something to preserve it. I'm sure there is some sort of maintenance to it. Okay, what I, what I think they're doing is they're going to concrete Oh, possibly, and they're protecting the bean? Yeah. Okay. Well, that could be. That could be the reason. Eh. Heading into Giordano's again. I asked you, um, I, can't, I think it was today's vlog. I can't remember which do you prefer, 
Gino's, Giordano's, or is there another pizza in Chicago that you prefer? Let me know in the comments. All right, so we just ordered our pizza, but we were sharing an Italiano salad. Mark does not like olives, but I do, and I don't like banana peppers. So he can have all the banana peppers. I'll take all the olives. You can have some of that meat over there. But we got a deep dish pizza. Here's the thing though too, if you come here, you have to wait about, if you, and you get a deep dish pizza. It's about 45 minutes. So it's a good idea to get a little bit of an appetizer to hold you over. Or to speak with someone that you love and have a nice conversation about their day. Yeah. The pizza has arrived. This is a Chicago style pizza. The cheese is actually on the bottom of the pizza and the sauce is on the top. It's so good. So, so, two thumbs up, right Mark? Two thumbs up. So if you didn't know in the corner of Adams and Michigan Street in Chicago is the beginning of Route 66. Our future, because Mark and I, when we get our RV, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get our kicks on Route 66. That's the beginning right here. Right where I'm standing. It's pretty. Well, we made it back into our room and I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. Again, you know, it's not been that exciting of a vlog, but hey, my, my eBay store is on vacation mode and I sold more cocaine spoons. So, you know, that's the great thing. You put your store, your eBay store on vacation and you can still make money while you're on vacation. So that's kind of nice. It is kind of nice. I, it means when you get back, you got some things you got to ship out right away. But, you know, it's still a way to make a little bit of money when you are, you know, not working through the week. Even though I am kind of working. And that's the thing, though, too, is like Mark was asking me at dinner. He said... Are you going to do any more antique shopping? And no, not while I'm in the city. I, I just don't, I would, I had planned on it, but I just don't, I, I just want to, I want to do something different. So Friday and Saturday, Mark and I are going to be shopping and we're going to be getting out of the city and doing some more shopping. But during the week, I just want to do, I just want to do something different, not work related. So I, even though vlogging is still work related, but still I'm having fun because I'm spending time with the people that I like, which are you guys. And him. Hi. <laughs> but, um, so tomorrow I am going to go to a museum. But tomorrow night, guys, is the big, is the big party. So. The mystery. The mystery. We don't know what it is. So we're hoping that it's going to be something pretty epic. So you'll get to go with us and that will be tomorrow's vlog. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Hello friends. Thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the virtual antique marketplace. It is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And I will see you in the next one. Make a ball, hit a man, put his hair in the middle. Red hot mama, red hot mama, but I have to turn my temper down. Girl, I'm a wonderful girl, I'm the sweetest one in town. You can search for miles around.